Now another way that you can add songs to an album is this. A much quicker way and cooler way in my opinion. So if you take a look at our model, what Django already knows is that this song class is associated with this album class using a foreign key. In other words, because we related these two objects in this kind of way, it already knows that this album is going to have a whole set of songs associated with it. So what Django did is it allows you to access the songs through a set. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about and it's gonna become a lot more clear. So if you just reference any album, that object, it has a set named the class name underscore set, but the class name is actually lowercase. So song underscore set. So that's how you access this album's songs. Now, if you just wanted to display them all, just call the function all and check it out. So right now we only have one song on this album. So there we go. So before we learn how to create a song and add it to the album in this way, you pretty much create a song, add all the attributes, and then save it. Well, there's also another way, and that's through the create function. So the create function kind of takes all of those things, all those separate steps, and allows you to do it in one shebang. So it allows you to create a new object, save it, and automatically put that object in the album's set. Sounds awesome, how do we do it? Well, just go ahead and reference your album object. Now, after that, reference the set, and now call a function called create. Now, whenever we create this, we need to pass in every attribute except this one. So why don't we need to specify the album attribute? Well, it already knows because we referenced album one that whenever we create a song, it's obviously gonna belong to album one. So where's my cursor? All right. So the first thing a song needs is a song title. And I'll say, uh, what's another one? I love bacon and the file type. We'll just make these all MP3s, MP3. So again, this is where we're actually creating the song object and its album is gonna be album one. And inside this create function, it's also gonna save it to the database. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter and check it out. Now, if I refresh this, it already has that bad boy saved right in there. Now, if you just hit up, then it's gonna get your history. So that's kind of a quicker way. All right, what's another song? I'll say, um, Bucky is lucky. That'd be a cool name for a song. And uh, I'll say uh, like ice cream. Maybe Taylor Swift would have a song about ice cream. I'm actually just kind of hungry now. But anyways, refresh this and check it out. Boom, 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 roasted. Now the last couple things I want to point out is whenever you use something like this, this create method, it does all those things that I told you, but it also returns a reference to that song. So the reason I want to say that is because if you ever need to actually take that object and use it in your program, what you can do is set it equal to a variable. So you can just set it equal to song like this. And now when you press enter, press enter, blah, 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 this object is equal to the variable song. So how do we know that? Well, if you just write something like song album, then it prints out the album. We can write song, uh, song title, and it prints out the song's title. And of course, if you want to do something like look at all of this album's songs, then what you can do is just like before, print out all of the items in the song set. Now, another cool function that you guys may need is if you just want to find out how many songs are on that album, then what you can do is song set, and what was that, album one. And there's another function called count. So what this is gonna do is it's just gonna count how many objects or songs there are and just display it right there. So a bunch of cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I think that's enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time.